This is the sixth video in the Circle Theorem series and in this video we are looking at cyclic quadrilaterals. So what is a cyclic quadrilateral? If you have a circle and enclosed within the circle there is a four-sided shape, as long as all four corners are touching the circumference of the circle we have a cyclic quadrilateral and the rule is that the opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees. So if I look at my first pair of opposite angles A and B, they add to 180 degrees. And if I have C and D, they're opposite, so they would also add to 180 degrees. So let's use that rule for example one. So in example one, it says find the value of A and B. So first of all, we have a four-sided shape within a circle. The second point, do all the corners touch the circumference? Yes, they do. So we have a cyclic quadrilateral. So let's look at our first pair, A and 71. So these two add to 180, so I'm just going to calculate 180 minus 71 to give me 109 degrees. Likewise, we have another set of opposite angles, so 180 minus 64 gives us our value for B, which is 116 degrees. Example 2. Find A, B and C. Now this diagram looks a little bit more complex because we have overlapping quadrilaterals. All four corners touch the circumference for both quadrilaterals. So let's take a look at our first pair. Now I've got A and I've got 49. So they're both opposite each other. So I'm going to use that as my first pair. I'm going to calculate 180 minus 49 gives me my value for A. And I'm going to put that into my diagram because I feel like it's easier. The more angles you find, it's easier just to write them in. Now, if you look at your B, now that's actually in the corner of a quadrilateral and the angle opposite that is A. So I again can calculate 180 minus 131 gives us 49. So B is 49. I'm going to put that into my diagram as well. Now I'm going to look at A, 32 degrees, 81 degrees, B and C. So that four-sided shape. Now if I add up all of the angles that I have there, so 131, add 32, add 81, add 49. That gives me 293. Now remember the angles in a four-sided shape add to 360 degrees. So I'm going to take that away from 360 and that gives me 67 which is C. And that's it. 